Hello, 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 and I'm Charles NC, and as you can see, we are playing the Stanley Parable, and I, I enjoyed this game, first time I played it, I only played it for about 20 minutes, played it through once or twice, haven't figured everything else out, but little tip hit trick whatever if you go to extras extras and enable achievement you actually get an achievement for that which is a little weird but these games are meant to be weird so let's begin end is never the end is never the end is loading me. Okay. But after playing a whirlwind heist, I decided, especially that there's a sale going on right now, that we should play the Stanley Parable. There we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. My name's not Stanley, though. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Ooh. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. I like buttons. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Hey, my name's and Stanley, although though. others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came yeah, in. Yeah, I enjoy my job. Though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Yes. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. What happened? Something that would forever change Stanley. Something what? he would never quite forget. Oh my god. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Was no one had showed up to give him instructions, Are we closed? call a meeting, Is it a or holiday? even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. Wow. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. I can't move. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he move. got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Let's step out of the office. All of his co-workers were gone. What yes, could it are. mean? Stanley decided know. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Meeting room. Now, so you guys know, I never actually listened to the narrator all the way. So I actually don't know what's going to happen when we get there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. How do you know that? I, li I like this door on the right, though. Mm, I'll listen to you this time, but I don't like it. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Ooh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Tips Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, Talk hoping less. he might oh. find an answer there. I wanted to know those rules. Well, tips. Hmm. Yes. Let's go. Find the boss's office. Watch he's not there too. Coming to a party. staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Ugh. It's blinding outside. Ooh, this is nice. It's over here. Ooh. Executive bathroom. Can't 
going there. This looks like the office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, wow. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark Ooh, secret here. was being held from Urban. him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk Ooh. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this but you just told me so two where where's the stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs i'm not trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five you just told me. What device? Is it? Two, oh. eight, four, five. I see, I see. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to it. input the cool. correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. There's a passageway? Oh. Looks like a maintenance thing. Yeah. Last time I was in darkness, there was a tiger. I'm not trusting it. Sorry about having these uh, little loading screens and guys. I can't quite edit that much yet. Um, but bear with me, I'm sorry. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to Freedom. question the nature of his job. Yes. Why did he feel this now? I when don't for know. years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Do I get a flashlight at some point? Does this like become like a horror game perspective? Stanley version? walked straight ahead through the large door Whoa, that read mind control. mind control facility. Oh. Well, I'm doing what he said, so. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. That's what what horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. We're monitoring did he hang his strength to find out? This is like the security camera room. I knew it! Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the Somebody number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, I mean, that's a little rude, like, to monitor people, but I'm sure they knew about it when they signed up for the job. Just so they know they're actually working. What number was I? 427. Right? There's me. Yep, that looks like me. I this like mind help. control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? No one was this the only reason Stanley. he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Those bastards. No, he Never. refused to believe it. Yeah. He couldn't accept it. It's His own lies. life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? 
Had he truly spent his entire okay. life utterly blind to the world? No. Stanley knew about it the whole time. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Ah, and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. I must destroy for it all. he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Ah, oh, jeez, that's gonna take a while. Where's the power button? Oh, wait. Let's press this. Five. Five. Okay, nothing. Let's go. And here. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, to his obligation, off. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it turn stood it for. Off. Hmm. I don't know. He told me to press it off, though, so... It's dark again. We did it, I think. Blackness. Oh, I and a rising it. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. Freedom. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments yes. away. Freedom. And yet. Even as the immense door slowly to opened, Mickey D's. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How yeah. had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized Chris none of Burks. this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, Just but happiness. Freedom. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Oh, is there a swing set? Can I play no on No longer set? would anyone tell oh, him where to go, lines. what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be oh, his. Pretty. And that was all he needed to know. Yes. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's open. Stanley go. felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. That's actually quite nice. And Stanley was happy. We made Stanley happy, guys. And we beat the game, apparently. But I know better. You can do many, many different things. And that ends it for this video. And we'll start some shenanigans next time. See you then. Bye.